Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Jay Burness and I run a concussion-focused functional neurology and chiropractic practice in Oakville, Ontario. Got a message this morning through my website from Maria and Maria writes, Hi Dr. J, my daughter suffered a concussion several months ago and although she has improved since the injury, she still has daily headaches at school. Do you have any idea how long this is going to last? Thank you for your time, Maria. So two things come out of this email and I, this is a, a good one to share, I think. Uh, first of all, she's had these symptoms already for several months. And in my experience, there's a window of opportunity for these things to get better on their own. And that's, that's somewhere between one and three months. Uh, but 80% of people who have a concussion will, will recover on their own in that first month, even if they do nothing, if they're just, just resting. But that other 20%, those are the, the PCS cases, they can linger for months to years. And it looks like her daughter here is in school and she's making herself more headachey at school or she's driving headaches at school. And that's not a good sign. So if you are pushing yourself to the point of symptoms uh, at your work or in this case at school, then there's a really good chance you're never going to get better and this, this condition will just keep lingering. And it can actually get worse as well if you're pushing yourself too hard. So my advice for uh, Maria's daughter here is that, you know, there's no telling how long this is going to last as long as you keep making yourself sick every day at school. So we need to maybe reduce course load, reduce hours at school, and then more importantly, we need to try and get some treatment for this. You know, uh, most of the patients that I see, they'll wait for about a year before they'll actually come and see me. And, and in that first year, they've done a lot of things uh, in terms of trying to fix the problem themselves or seeing medical doctors and neurologists and whatever. And the people that get better, I never see, but the people that I see are the people that don't get better doing all that stuff. And everybody's concussion is different. It's really important to identify exactly what the problem is. What's the deficit? What can this person not do? What areas of their brain have, are not functioning properly? And that's where you address the specific treatment. So uh, Maria, get your daughter some treatment if possible. Uh, and again, try and reduce the school hours or the uh, workload to the point where she's not driving herself to the point of symptoms every day. So this uh, inquiry came through my website, uh, through the contact page on my website. If you go there and fill out this little box, uh, these messages will come uh, direct to my, my desk. My staff doesn't see them, I see them, and I will communicate with you directly. And, uh, you know, if I'm not local for you, maybe I can find you somebody to see uh, close to your state or your home or wherever you live. So uh, please use the uh, contact form. I'm happy to try and answer anybody's questions. Thanks for watching.